guys. So, did not get to get the footage of fish catches today. I'll be honest with you, I went down yesterday and I cleared, tried to clear the ramp off, but the snow did not melt off of the road. And I'll kind of give you just a brief overview of what the lake conditions were like, and then we're going to get into the setup of my boat. So enjoy. So, this is all, all this yesterday was open, and I thought that I'd be able to fish. Well, today it is a solid sheet of ice. I'm going to get some pictures of this too. So that is crazy. But it froze over. So look here. So I thought that maybe I was wrong that if I shoveled all of this snow that maybe this ice here would uh, thaw out get some sun on it and it would thaw out and I learned a lesson it was a lot of hard work it was a good exercise as you can see I did Woo, here I go I'm sliding ice skating I mean this is, yeah and you can even see where I chopped up some ice I think I threw some snow out into it of course when I stopped yesterday it was so see i made it pretty far with my ice clearing see pretty good so i cleared all this ice off thinking that if i could get enough traction that i could launch <laughs> i was wrong so i got all this ice here that was around this edge all of that i broke up and it was clear out to there i think i got another video show Let's see it's not very thick so not gonna get to fish today that's all right can fish every day no matter how hard you try i wonder if old boy in his ford well i don't see him so i don't know if he finally figured out where the four-wheel drive was looks like he's gone so there you have it the lake has froze over the ramp is still icy and i'm glad i didn't bring my boat down here so all right well I'll so as you can see i didn't get to go fishing today it was too slick to try getting out there so i didn't get any fish catches didn't get no footage today for the channel so I've kind of been saving this i'm just gonna do like a walkthrough of the boat and this is how i have it set up this is if i went fishing today this is what i would have been using and how it all been set up so let's uh let's see what we got start start in the back here and work our way up through the compartments this is a low stinger uh 195 and it is in the crappie setup and right here and this here i keep my like most time there's scales in there y'all look like i have the scales in there so they're probably out here somewhere but i keep like coal and stuff and different things during the summer that's where the g-juice will be so different things that i might need during the tournaments in there of course here this is where i keep the cooler there's not a lot of room in this boat so uh you can see in the cooler there is the snacks and everything. And I think this has been fro this is still frozen. It's been frozen for like three weeks because it's cold. But I'll clean that out for tournament day. But that's where all the snacks stay. And while I have it anchored back here, that keeps it from uh, moving anywhere. You can see we're got our plugged in and charging. Uh, this here is a live well. And then in this compartment over here, this is for like the co anchor. And I think. In it, I just have, uh, I think this red bag, it's a watertight bag. I think I got extra gloves because it's so cold. But a lot of times we'll put some extra drinks in there. I've got some screen cleaner. And here's a notebook. 
Now take a notebook just for on tournaments. I'll keep up with fish and where we got them at. So that's in there. As you can see, this is ready to fish. I got extra bait and hooks that we've cut off. That goes there and that. Uh, in here, these are the seats. Under the seats, I think I have the extra life jacket, which I get that out whenever there's somebody going with me, but if I'm by myself, that's in there. We got two extra scales down in there. And then here I have my life jacket. There's also storage under the, uh, there's also storage under that seat. Got my Bluetooth speaker, so I can always listen to tunes. Uh, on the console, I'm running the Echo Map. This is a seven inch screen. This is the 2017 model, I believe, but it is in here. It is not network to that. I think if I got a network cable, a network cable, I could, but uh, the new sevens, they wireless. So if I had a seven here, it would wirelessly talk to it. Uh, on this accessory right here, I have the black box, so it always stays on and the power there controls that. So whenever this power switch is hit, the black box, it gets power to it. Right here, I have a toolbox, because you never know when you might need tools. I have baby wipes, because you never know when you might need baby wipes. And looks like I have a uh, buoy marker. And uh, there's some baits right there that I just kind of threw in there. Right here, you watch the videos, you see me grab this. It's here so then I can tell how big they are. And it looks like I can't measure anything bigger than 15 inches in this. But I guarantee you, if it's longer than 15 inches, it's not gonna fit in the trough. So, moving forward, another live well. Let's look here. We got a throw cushion, we got a net, and this here's where I keep my lights. And as you can see right in there, there's the black box. Here's the main storage area. Uh, that's where I have my two um, tripods for filming. And this is where I keep my tackle. So I'm gonna kind of show you this tackle. So hold on with me. So here is my tackle boxes. I love, here's my tackle boxes. So I love using these Flambo Super Satchels, model 4510. And I think we have, I have five of them for crappie. And then I've got some for bass too. For my crappie, this here, this box here is dedicated to hair jigs. So, see I've got plenty different hair jigs just depending on what they want to eat i've got a lot of different varieties got some of these here these are pretty good i've caught some fish with these no monsters but i've caught some fish with them and then got a few odd and ends mostly what i've acquired from people that are fishing with me they cut them off and put them in the box all right here we go this one here, dedicated to hooks. So I've got, as you can see, I love running these Crappie Max Pro Mena jig heads. Really like running those. This one's the 132nd ounce. So, and this here, I have every color 132nd ounce. 16th ounce, Crappie Max. Pro minnow jig heads, every color, 16th ounce, eighth ounce, crappie max minnow jig heads, and every color. And then I also like the Jinko heads. So I've got those and I've got several colors of them. I don't know that I have every color, but they're kind of mix matched. Um, and I usually try to get a pack or two of those if I make a Jinko water. So, but you can't get these. You can get like maybe one or two colors at uh, Bass Pro. So, 
get to, uh, most of the time I have to order these direct from Jinko. So I don't, I usually just make a Jinko order very, uh, not as often. Um, I try to get everything I need from Jinko at one time. Uh, then we got some gulp cropping niblets and other various niblets. And I've got every color of those and they're in there. Then I've got some more hooks. In this little compartment here, I got more like the Roadrunner style hooks. They uh, they got a spinner on them, and uh, some just odd and end jig heads. And then I think I got some. Yeah, I've also got some Aberdeen hooks in there in case I want to tie up, uh, you know, like a slip bob or something like that. Back here, I have sinkers. So say half ounce warm weight. Kind of on to the uh, bullet style right now. I was on the egg, now I'm on the bullet. So who knows, I may change back, you can't tell. And then I have uh, various different types of uh, fluorocarbon. So here's the 12 pound fluorocarbon. I like using that if I can get away with it. Um, I've got eight pound fluorocarbon, six pound fluorocarbon. I think I've even got some four pound floor carbon so just depending on if i need to change up i've got that i really like these that's one of the reasons why i've been going with the bullet weights these t-stops keeps your uh, sinker from going up and down and then i've got some spro swivels these are really nice swivels you get 50 in a pack and i've had them for uh, probably two or three years so and still several of them and i think i've got i believe it's in this one or maybe the other one Here's some uh, three-way swivels. Jinko makes a really great three-way swivel. Uh, I like the best, and I think it's in this other package. So that's, that one's got most of the hook, terminal tackle, I guess you'd say. Now to the baits. This here is my crappie magnet box. As you can see, I've got, I think, every color of crappie magnet in there and the ones that I don't have. I think I've ordered some more. I've got all the different um, crappie magnet. This is the slab magnet series. So as you can see, I try to have every one of those readily available. And then in this compartment here, I have, uh, this are some more crappie magnets. These are the, I forget which one they, yeah, the fin commander. So this is the one with the little, the little spinny tail. So I, I've never used those, but now I've got some of those. And then I've got some trout magnets. Uh, definitely gonna try them. I caught fish on them a couple years ago before I had a live scope. I haven't tried them with live scope, so I'll try that. And then bringing up the rear of this box, I've got probably one of my favorite, maybe not my favorite bait, but definitely one that I really like is these, especially for big fish, is uh, the fry daddies. And these are the three inch fry daddies. So, these are not, I mean, you can catch some small fish with them, but these here are definitely a bigger fish bait. I've got several different colors of these. As you see, that's a good color at times. That what you call it's a good color. Oh, and I I got these, I won these in a door prize, and I've caught some fish on them. It's like a paddle tail. And then probably my favorite color right now is the pepper dew of these. So I like pepper dew. And I've also got some, what is that? Green Monkey. So I think I've got a few on the Green Monkey. But so that is that box. Boom. I guess my favorite crappie bait is the Bobby Garlands. I love these little Fry Daddies. And I think that's what it's called, ain't it? Nope, Baby Shad. Fry Daddy is Jinko, so no trademark infringement. These are baby sheds fried eddie is a jinko thing but yeah i really like these and i think i've got just about every color of them of course my favorite uh either being the turn right this way that outlaw special or I hate to tell you i think i got it in here i might have used them all no i got one bag of them and the crystal. So crystal's probably my favorite. All special is my next favorite. Then I've got some of these power bait. They got a little better taste to them. Um, I, I use them. I can catch fish on them, but I've just and never really been like a oh my gosh, I gotta catch them with these. But 
do have them you never know make it be a day come up where it's like ah gotta use those and then i've got these here and i won these in like, i guess door prize or something these freaky franks but i tell you there are times where they flat out can catch the fish uh hard bite for about two weeks i was uh i was catching a lot of fish on these and the it just right before i went to taylorsville i was catching a lot of fish on these uh went to taylorsville they didn't want to bite them as much but right before taylorsville i guess after christmas kind of january area i was burning them up and then this here just a random assortment of different baits i got so uh a lot of these i think this one here is a buddy of mine bait he left it in the boat so it went in the tackle box um and some southern slabs so i got those in the door prize and let's see got some muddy water baits another door prize saw my door prize baits going here but uh there's some, there was a good southern slab I forgot where it was at. I want to see it, but it's in there. And last on the tackle train, the last box. So I've got my bobbers. I've already got a pre-tied up double minnow rig there. Um, let's see here. I've got all my dies right there. You can see those. That's some pre-tied up double minnow rigs. Uh, here's what I wanted to show you. So yeah, it was with my double minnow rigs. This here, the Tangle Free Big T Tangle Free 360 Swivel. If you're gonna run a double minnow rig and you're gonna tie your own up, this is the way to go. I really like the swivel, I've used it, and it is the bomb. So if you make a Jinko order, like I said, uh, they've got some of their stuff stocked in it. Bass Pro starting to get that. Um, but you can order from those guys. They do have a pretty good, pretty good service. And I think if you're just ordering tackle, I don't think the shipping's too bad. Uh, if you order a pole or something, it's like $16. But of course the pole, uh, you know, there's special things you have to do to ship that. These here are just some swivels. If I needed a drop shot, I haven't done that since I got the live scope, but I've got it. So that is all the tackle. So hold still and we will go to the poles. All right, so for the poles, what we've got here is three Jinko rods. My favorite rod for crappie fishing uh, is this 10 foot. 10 foot hypersense. This, I use this a lot whenever I'm just vertical jigging fish. And I've actually got a crappie magnet tied on it there with a crappie magnet head. But I love this pole. I switched it back for, I, I use a, I've got another one that's got a spinning rod on it, but I put, I went back to a bait caster on this because um, mostly just for kind of like tournament style fishing, chasing these fish down if I need to. Uh, of course, while I'm running the trolling motor with my other hand, I can feather and do different stuff one hand with this. I can let it out. I can even click it and engage it and even give it reels if I had to in a tight situation. Of course, you can go up and down with just one hand. Uh, I run these left-handed because that's how I fish. Um, I cast with my right hand. I reel with my left hand. There's no having to switch from the cast. If you cast with your right hand and then switch it to your left hand to start reeling, you are wasting movements uh if that's how you do it that's great works for you but me i decided i didn't want to waste that movement so i uh, reel with my left hand i do that with spinning rods and with bait casting so if these here i have this and it's ready to go so this is how i fish and i run troll motor with my left hand then i have a 13 foot this is a big i don't remember what the name of this one is it's an x13 it's a jinko rod uh yeah uh it's Big Tony Shepard special, but I guess the X13 by Tony Shepard. But, and I've, like I said, bait cast drill. I'm running that. Um, with all of these rods, the way they are, they're set up now, they're set up for sniping crappie. And I have the egg sinker. I don't know if you can see it or not, bouncing right there. I got the egg sinker right there. And it looks like I've got a good three foot of a liter. Uh, maybe three and a half foot a liter 
So, and this here, this is my favorite um, 13 foot rod. I actually like this one better than the other one, um, the um, X13. This is the High Percent Lucky 13. And it's a really good rod. I like it, a jigging rod. Uh, and I am running it with a bait caster as well. So that's how I have these set up. These are set up for, like I said, sniping, like some of you say, sniping bogeys. But I've got these set up so then the, I can get the bait, you know, to the fish and out in front of them. There's my unit. It is the 10-6 uh, or 106 SV Garmin Ultra. I really like that unit. I wish it would grow two inches and be the 12 inch unit. I'm running the Garmin trolling motor. And then this is what it looks like. I've got the recessed foot pedal. And I've got some uh, Berkeley Gulp right there. And then pliers right there. So let's hop out of this boat and we will show you what's in this box. All right, I'm back. So like I said, this is how I'm running that. As you can see, I've got the half ounce egg sinker. Swivel right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's, about, there's the big T-stop. That's run on fluorocarbon, 10 pound Barclay Nano Fill line with the fluorocarbon leader. And open the tackle box up. Look at here, first pole we're pulling out. This is the newest pole. All right, this is the newest pole I've got. My buddy Corey Thomas brought this to me from Grizzly Jig Show. And this is a BM. Uh it's by BM, but I guess the people who make crappie magnet want to make it. I really like this rod. Um, I haven't got to use it a lot. I only think I've got to use it one day. And mostly because right now the fish just aren't on the pattern of pitching to them. And this is I think it's like a six and a half, six nine. Uh, six foot rod somewhere around there. It's not much shorter than my seven foot rods And I've actually bought some two pound test line monofilament that I'm gonna put on this That's how Corey runs it. He outfished me one day We went fishing with these two rods and he outfished me. I could see the line better on the live scope uh, using the braid but we were fishing super clear water, which this is let's see, a four or six pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, but Y'all fished me, so he says that he really likes that two pound line and it wasn't priced too high. I think I gave five dollars for like 350 feet of it or 350 yards of it, but it is in the mail, so I will be using that. It's two piece rod, but it's really sensitive. And I didn't know that I could pull this little jig, I could ease it through cover and feel the twigs and stuff without getting snagged, like because it's a real limber tip, da, 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 da. real limber tip. So it's a it's positive, very sensitive rod and i really like it so i can't wait to use it especially when the fish get more aggressive and i can cast to them hmm. second rod uh definitely a favorite probably my favorite rod right now for casting it's a seven foot two um what is it medium yeah medium light or light medium action or it's a, maybe it's a medium light pole with fast action. I don't know. But this is the Trick Stick Light. And I absolutely like it. It's a great pole. I've caught a lot of fish with it. I got it rigged up with a little Bobby Garland right now. But like I said, not really using these very much. Because the fish, they've just been so sluggish. The pitching to them wasn't working. I've got on course on all my my spinner rods. I have successfully switched over to all Elite Max Abu Garcias, and I just like having the same rod on all the poles. That way, whenever you're switching to it, that's just one less thing that's different. Here's another really good rod. It's another Jinko. This is from their Hypersense line, which is my favorite line that Jinko has right now. A uh, little seven foot spinny rod, um, medium light tip with fast action, but it is not as 
light as the uh, trick stick light action. So I actually wish that they would make a light action, a seven foot two light action in this lineup. Cause I like this rod too. It's a good rod and I like it. Just not hardly as much as I do the trick stick light. So I wish they would make, um, have this rod blank uh, with the same schematics that they have with the trick stick lock. I really like the guides on this here, which you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but the guides, they might be just a little bit bigger than the trick stick light. I feel like on that braid, they may just get through there a little bit better. So that's what's there. Here is, I'm not gonna pull it out, but that's another 10 foot like the one on the end here, which I said was my favorite uh, overall, I guess, jigging rod for just fun fishing. I like the 13 foot if I'm fishing tournaments and really having to hammer them big fish out. But if I'm just fun fishing, putting nine, 10 inches in the boat, um, especially if you're fishing all day, the 10 foot, I choose it over the 13 foot just because it's it's it doesn't weigh anything in your hand. So I have another one of those. It's the only rod that I have two of, so that tells you something. And then last but not least, this is, uh, I got this rod for bluegill fishing and it is a St. Croix six foot nine ultra light uh, panfish rod. And I've got, and see, still got the same Elite Max. I think I got six or either six or four pound mono on it, but I may go to the two pound. If I really like that two pound mono, I'll probably put two pound mono on it as well. And I've caught crappie on it, but I actually like it maybe better for like small bluegill fishing during the summer and stuff like that. <sighs> so guys, thanks for watching. Here is a little fish catch that I had from last week. Uh, it was bitterly cold and did not get enough footage to put together a video. But definitely want to thank everybody for watching. That is my setup. So... If you've just been wondering how I had everything set up, that's how it's set up today. That may change uh, next week. That may change tomorrow. I rearrange and do a lot of different stuff, but that is my setup for right now. I uh, will be definitely fishing this week. Temperatures are going to warm up, and next Saturday, hope to have some really good footage for you. So look forward to next week's video, and thanks for watching.